I'm going to try to find all the second partial derivatives of the following function. So in order to find all the second partial derivatives, I have to start with the first partial derivative. So I need to calculate g sub x of xy first and then g sub y of xy. So let's do g sub x first. So that means x is the variable and y is a constant. So this is a constant term for this guy. So the derivative with respect to x of x squared is 2x. The derivative with respect to x of x is 1 times a constant. So 1 times a constant is just that constant. Now if I do g sub y of xy, now the y is a variable and x is a constant. So if I'm going to take the derivative with respect to y of x squared, that's just 0. Here, um, the x is constant and the natural log of y is has the variable in it. So I'm going to take x the constant and just take the partial with respect to y of the natural log of y. So that's going to be x times 1 over y, which is x over y. All right, let's keep going here. Um, let's do g sub, oops, sorry, g sub xx. So that means now I'm going to take the derivative of this with respect to x again. Sorry about that. So the derivative with respect to x of 2x is just 2. The derivative with respect to x of a constant, because that's a y, I'm taking it with respect to x, that's a constant, is 0. So my derivative is 2. Here, if I do g sub, sorry, I don't know why I'm doing that, g sub y y of x y, that means I'm taking the partial with respect to y of x times y to the minus 1, which is what that is. So um, let's see, x is a constant because I'm taking the partial with respect to y, so I'm going to take it out. Partial with respect to y of y to the minus 1. So using the power rule on this guy, that's minus 1 y to the minus 2, which turns out to be, if I simplify, minus x over y squared. Now, um, on this side, let's go back. If I'm going back and forth, hopefully I'm not confusing you. So I'm just going to take x and take the partial with respect to x, and y, take the second partial with respect to y. Now, over here, I'm going to do g sub xy. So now I'm going to take g sub x and take the derivative with respect to y. So if I take a look at how this is, um, I see a no y's here, so the derivative of that with respect to y is 0. Then I have to take the derivative of that with respect to y, which is 1 over y. The derivative of the natural log of x is 1 over y. So this second guy is 1 over y. Now I know that g of yx and g of xy are equal, but just to make sure that I, my work is right, what I'm going to do is actually do g sub y x and just check to see if they turn out to be the same. So according to this, I'm going to take the partial with respect to x of x over y, which is my g sub y is x over y. And then that means I'm going to take here, I'm going to take g sub y, which is x over y, and take the partial with respect to x. So this is equal to, if I do a little bit of algebra, partial with respect to x of x times y to the minus 1. So this y to the minus 1 part is just a constant. So in reality, I can pull that guy out, not negative. Partial with respect to x of x, that's just 1. So that leaves me with y to the minus 1, which is equal to 1 over y. So I get 1 over y here and I get 1 over y here. So you can see they're equal. So it most likely is the correct derivative.